श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम देर आर टू वर्ड्स वन इज निष्काम सेकेंड इज निष्प्रयोजन निष्काम मीन्स नो डिजायर निष्प्रयोजन मीन्स नो पर्पज so what is the purpose that we take food so that our hunger is satiated we get nutrition and we grow healthy so that we can terrorize others all healthy people are terrorized to others those who are having some or the other problem in their health they are the blessings to the society because they are all the time busy with their own pain here pain there pain pain everywhere there is the time to bother others but those who are healthy they don't allow others to remain healthy so the purpose of taking food satiate hunger and grow healthy similarly in the morning many people you must have seen they go for a walk and come back so they walk to reach nowhere but what is the purpose it is not nishprayojan the purpose is when they go out in the morning for a walk for about an hour or so then other people at home can finish their bathroom toilet comfortably <laughs> purpose is this health is the secondary thing in the same manner we study scriptures now here bhagavad gita and many of us have studied gita so many times what is the prayojan what is the purpose is the purpose like you know many people when they give talk in between the fire share shairi so when they fire share shairi in between then the people say oh he is very well read see in the same manner the spiritual share shairi is bhagavad gita so is it for this purpose that we study gita see friends what is the purpose why study has anybody told us our doctor right isn't it our regrets you have come to me your fault not mine our and then study gita no what is the prayojan why we should study gita in today's world digital world the morning news becomes old in the afternoon and afternoon news becomes old in the evening this bhagavad gita which was revealed more than 5000 years before is it not too outdated for today's world why should we study see friends so the purpose must be clear and when the purpose is clear then only we will be benefited see friends for us the purpose is only a material achievement is the purpose of study of anything spirituality for us means what we go to the temple and tell the lord oh lord other than you we want everything you be the means the world is the goal see and that is why all our gods have got a standard mudra you know this mudra the meaning of this mudra i told you last time the first mudra left hand it is not a varadastha it is enough kitna maoge enough and the right hand he is not giving you gold if you don't stop i'll give you one and then give so our spirituality is also materialistic see friends is this the purpose of study of gita what is the purpose see so the scriptures particularly gita is studied for changing our vision see because as is the vision so is the perception as is the perception so is the interaction as is the interaction so is the experience 
as is the experience, so is the quality of our life. See, friends. One young boy going on a motorcycle, he saw one girl from backside and he stops teasing her. So he went with the tank, tank, tank and stood in front of her. And he wanted to say, hi darling. So he stood there and he said, hi. And that girl happened to be 78 not out. <laughs> and with a doll type of neck, she said, Beta, what do you want? The moment his perception changed, will he say, hi darling? He will say, hi, hi, kis ko dekha? <laughs> See friends, when we are looking at this world, we have our different visions. One vision is that of vision of relative existence. I versus you. See? Before marriage, my he, my, my he, my, my he, my. After marriage, first few months, tu he, tu, tu he, tu, tu he, tu. Another few months, tu, tu, my, my, tu, tu, my, my. A year has passed, then my, my, tu, tu, my, my, tu, tu. Another six months have gone. I being a Gujarati, in Gujarati, my is who? Who to to to, who to to to, who to to to, whole life is only I versus you. This is one vision we all have. In this vision, there is only competition, jealousy, frustration, finding faults, holier than thou. I have done so much for him, but he never realized that. Who told you? See, friends, this basic error of living in the relative world and trying to expect absolute happiness is the highest illusion that we all go through. Excuse me, who is she? Oh, she is my relative. Okay. What do you expect from her? I expect from my relative absolute happiness. Are Baba, she is relative. She can give you only relative happiness. She can't give you absolute happiness. See, friends. So the first vision we are all the victims of is the vision of relativity. I versus you. Then the second vision is I versus him. Oh Lord, thy will be done. Second vision. In this vision, there is no competition, there is no jealousy. There is no achievement, there is no comparison. See? A devotee is not jealous of God. Devotee is not comparing with him. The only relationship between the devotee and the Lord he is that of surrender. You know surrender? Sir, head, under, below. The second vision. The third vision possible he is how the God is looking at his world. How he looks at it. Will the God have biasness towards holy people I love and the dogs and the cats I don't love. Bhagavan says, Name Dveshostinam Priya. The third vision. And fourth vision is the vision of the Absolute in which relativity is only imagined, not real. Absolute cannot be fractioned into parts. See, north, east, west, south. Now the same thing, I will explain through this example. North, east, west, south. What are these relatives? Now those who are the victims of these directions, they will be always carrying 
होली बुक ऑफ फेंग शुई इन द लेफ्ट कॉर्नर देर शुड बी ए टॉयलेट इन द राइट कॉर्नर देर शुड बी ए टैप फॉर वॉशिंग द वॉटर अरे राम राम रिलेटिव इफ यू आर स्लीपिंग विथ योर लेग्स फेसिंग द साउथ यू विल डाय अर्ली देन स्लीप यूर लेग्स विथ द नॉर्थ एंड एट नाइट वेन द चिल्ड्रन स्लीप दे मूव अराउंड होल नाइट यू नो that time which side are the directions of your legs so relative vision always there will be confusion see but what will be the experience of the space towards the directions from the spaces point of view east north west south do not exist from Paramatma standpoint, you and me do not exist. See, friends, it is only the conditioning which are creating relativity in the absolute, and this conditioned expression of the absolute is going through all the miseries and tragedies of life. See, now take your personal example. You will become more homely to understand. man is brahman absolute the same man with reference to his father is reduced to a son the same man he is a husband with the conditioning of his wife so the man is crushed to be a husband then the same man with the conditioning of his own son He is carrying the load of fatherhood. So one man has become three, but has he really become three? And who is miserable? The man is never miserable, and husband is never happy. Dear friends, come to discover this change in the vision. It is for this purpose that Bhagavad Gita is studied. Our problem is, Swami Ji, may the blessed Lord permit meditation. No, what happens? Too many dirty thoughts come. What should I do? Don't sit for meditation. Then stand for meditation, like the horses do. Standing meditation, like standing ovation, standing meditation. But why the dirty thoughts come? Because of meditation. Don't do meditation. Because you only say, when you are sitting for meditation, dirty thoughts come. Stop meditation. So far, you are never doing meditation. How does it matter? See, friends, unless our vision changes, our perception with the world will not change. And how long will you sit in meditation? Ten minutes, half an hour, one hour? How many hours will you go for satsang? They say when you go to satsang, there is peace, but they don't tell you the truth. Peace where? At your home, when you are out of the house, चलो जाओ ना go for sunset so that there is peace at home. See friends, therefore unless we recognize this basic error, we have to change our angle of perception. See, it is for this purpose that we study Bhagavad Gita. Now, for everything, there is a qualification required. Is it? So, I mean, you don't know anything. Okay, correct me. There is no qualification required to be a politician, sir. You are wrong. You don't know anything. Okay, tell me what is the qualification required for being a politician? You should not be qualified. It is only qualification. When you are unfit for everything, you are fit for becoming a Baba Ji or a politician. Because for becoming a politician, there is no university where qualification column is there. Similarly, to become a Baba Ji like us, you don't require any qualification. So those who are unfit for everything, they are fit for becoming Baba Ji and a politician. See, friends. Therefore. to achieve this ultimate vision 
we require qualifications. And what is this qualification? So first of all find out what is the problem. Unless the diagnosis is not perfect, you can't prescribe the medicine. So what is the problem? See? Meditation is not freedom for I. Spiritual life is not freedom for I. Spiritual life is freedom from I. Who was suffering in the first chapter of Gita, Arjun Singh? He had this problem of I. See? As to who am I? Whether I was a warrior, a grandson, or a disciple, or a brother, a brother-in-law, a father-in-law, who was this I? And who was suffering? The warrior was not suffering. It was the grandson who was suffering. Katham Bhishma Maham Sanke Dronam Cha Madhusudana Ishubhi Pratiyotsyami Poojadha Varisudana the sufferer was this I. See, friends. And what Bhagavad Gita did <coughs> after the whole Bhagavad Gita was over, <coughs> the situation of war did not change. Then what changed? The vision of Arjuna has undergone change. That is what he says. Nashto moha smriti hi labdha tat prasadat maya chuta stitosmi gata sandeha karishye vachanam dava. O Lord, my delusion, my wrong perception of I. See, if you just discover this simple truth, whenever you are disturbed, you go to the origin, you will see at the beginning of the disturbance, there is somebody. As a mother we are disturbed, as a father we are disturbed, as a mother-in-law we are disturbed, as a daughter-in-law we are disturbed, as a citizen we are disturbed, as a Hindu we are disturbed, as a Muslim we are disturbed. Whenever there is somebody, that somebody is the origin of all disturbances. And in deep sleep, when we snore away, sound sleep, that time others are disturbed, you are at peace. Because you are not there. See, in deep sleep, we are nobody and therefore no disturbances, no thoughts, no achievement, no failure, no frustration, no man, no woman, no husband, no wife. Think. So spiritual life is not freedom for I. The first error that we all do is this. I want freedom. <coughs> Problem is with this I. Freedom from I is the real freedom. See? Our condition, of our understanding about spirituality is earlier I was a bhogi. Now, I is a yogi. Earlier, I used to go to cinema. Now, this I goes to satsanga. Earlier, I was eating non-vegetarian every day. Now, I is eating alternate days. Why? Spirituality. So, we are trying to change this I from unholy to the holy. Friends, I has to be dissolved. See, friends. Therefore, in the fifth chapter, Bhagavan gives a very clear instruction. What should be the spiritual practice? He doesn't say, sit in asana and do meditation. No. He doesn't say, go to the temple and disturb the God by ringing the bell non-stop. See? He very clearly tells, naiva kinchit karomiti, Yukto manne tatva vi. This wrong notion, I am doing, I am doing, 
this wrong notion must be erased. See, friends, in the 18th chapter, Bhagavan says, Yasya naham kruto bhavaha, buddhi yasya na lipyate, hatva pisa iman lokan na hanti na nimadyate. He who doesn't have the sense of doership, aham kruto bhavaha, I am so and so, I am doing meditation, I am going to the temple, I do good work. Who wants? See, friends, therefore, the qualification should be freedom from this I, and when this freedom from this I happens, what was the experience of Bhagavan Sri Krishna in the 11th chapter? That will be our experience. It is for this purpose, changing our vision and making us qualified for that. The teacher begins from the second chapter onwards. First, he talks about redefining and uh, tailor making the I who is functioning in this world. Tailor made I. Who is the tailor made I? If I am a mother, father, brother, sister, husband, wife, etc., then do your duties perfectly well, sincerely. When you are busy in fulfilling your duties sincerely, you have no time to get bored. See, friends, we all suffer, never because of shortage of time. We all suffer because of excess of time. I don't know what I should do now. So when there is nothing to do, Acha, pakode banana. Are Ram, Ram. Early morning, pakode. Because then what will I do for the whole day? See. Therefore, those who fulfill their obligations for the world, for themselves, for the society, for their uh, relations, they will have no time to get bored. So, first redefine your I. And for that, Bhagavan says in the second chapter that karmande valika raste maafaleshu kadachana. Whatever is your position in life, fulfill it fully. Live wholeheartedly and discover joy in expression of every action. That is karma yoga. Karma Yogi is not doing too many things and creating a lot of confusion. Why? Karma Yogi. It is not Karma Yogi, it is Karma Rog. See friends, Karma Yogi is, every expression is an expression of joy. See? Normally what is our attitude? If I do this thing, I will get that thing. See the parents bring up the children. They are not happy when the child is growing. They are keeping the happiness for the future, they postpone. When we become old, then our children will take care of us, then we will be happy. So a person who is postponing his own happiness in the future period of time, even God cannot make him happy. And those who are happy now and here, even God cannot make them miserable. Simple. It's not difficult. So whatever we have to do, let every action express joy. When you are taking food, take food joyfully. Not why did you and keep on eating. Don't eat then. See, friends, this is the simplest way Bhagavad Gita tells us. We are here only to express joy. There is no other purpose of our life. Not getting happiness. Getting happiness is a um, dirt philosophy. It's not the right way. See, when the students study uh, Vedanta, the first lesson they are given, this lesson. See, we do everything for getting happiness. Therefore, this is the first mistake the students do. So they study for getting uh, happiness, then they give lecture for getting happiness, then they go to temple for getting happiness. And 
ultimately they come to know getting happiness is the most miserable search in life. Three phrases. First step, karma yoga, to become qualified, to discover freedom from I, is this. Express joy. How scientific it is. Can we live yesterday or tomorrow? We cannot live. We live always now. Second, all actions are done only in now. We cannot do anything yesterday or tomorrow. Third, while doing actions now, if you express happiness, can you ever become miserable? Think. So this error, if it is corrected, whenever you are happy or happily doing anything, you merge with the totality. So we have first defined our I so that this I can be dissolved. Now one more important point about this karma. See, whatever we do in our life, please remember, nobody wants it. Let us not have this wrong notion. If I don't know how it will happen, after Nehru who? Remember in 1960s, always there is to be this, you know, headline, Times of India, after Nehru who? Now, in Delhi, behind every railway, um, rickshaw, it is written, So me nabbe bhi maan, phir bhi mera bharat maan. Samjhe? So, where is the problem? Please remember one most important thing. Whatever we do, it is our need. The world does not need us. When we were not here, there was nothing lacking. When we will go from here, there will be no lacuna. Therefore, our presence is unwanted like the stack of chairs. Most unwanted. But, ahankar vi mudhatma karta amiti manyate we start imagining, I am doing this, I am doing that, without me, how the world will move. I remember one story. In the summer days, there was one uh, bullock cart carrying a lot of grass and uh, the um, cart man was driving the cart and there was a dog walking below that because of the shade. And after four, five, six hours, when the bullock cart was taken aside near a tree, bullocks were unyoked, and that time the dog also came out. <laughs> he was asked, Hey, why are you tired? Tired? Eight hours I was carrying this bullock cart. See, friends, in the same manner, we have this notion. Because of us, the world is moving. There was a great saint in Bombay. He had a tremendous influence in my life. His name was Nisargadatta Maharaj. And he used to say, all those who have come to save this world, they were shaved off. The world has always been like this. Where is the Rama Rajya? Where it has gone? If it was truth, it should have continued always. Where is Krishna Dwarka? Do you think that our doing something in this world is going to change the world? What is required is change our own vision. See, friends. Therefore, first we redefine our eye. Or I, he is the one who is in need of doing the things. See, like many people, they advise me. 
one day i came from australia and next night within 24 hours i was to take next flight to london so my friend who comes to pick me up at night it was raining also when i came he says swamiji you have nothing behind you why are you running 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 so much i said okay i stop from now onwards i will not go anywhere i will stay only in your house no 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 not like that hey <laughs> this is one question many people ask me like suppose here i come to bangalore now in ajay's house so when i come here first day they are happy second day they are little more happy third day they are little more more happy on the last day they are happiest and god so many god he felt therefore if we have to do anything it is our need the world doesn't need us with this attitude you live you will never be frustrated in life and a person who is not frustrated a person who is happy he alone can think of god see prasanna chetaso yachu buddhi paryavadishtate prasanna chetas if a person is having let us take you know um, root canal pain with the root canal if he will sit for meditation what will be the meditation mudra what is this teda muk mudra no in the root canal do you think he will think of god think friends unless you discover this happiness word is discover i am not telling seek happiness discover that is you the more happier you are less ego you have less happier you are more ego you have if you are all the time miserable frustrated depressed dejected you are a very strong concentrated sulfuric acid type of ego see friends god doesn't have ego therefore paramananda every opportunity which can hurt us if it comes in our life understand it is god's grace see friends what is spiritual life i give an example once i was in a school and i was talking to the students hey come on tell me if you want to be first in the board examination what you have to do one by one one should say we should know answers to all the questions correctly very good the second one we should study hard without that we won't know so different answers were given then i said look here you may know all answers correctly like your teacher knows he is the one who is sending the paper so he knows all the answers correctly to all the questions will he stand first in the board examination no what is required required is he has to appear in the examination first requirement you know but you don't appear in the examination how will you know that you will be first in the same manner friends take every experience of your life as a spiritual examination <laughs> any moment you get hurt you feel rejected you become philosopher understand the hood of ego is coming philosophy is dignified frustration therefore friends let us recognize this principle that is i has to be dissolved and how do we dissolve this i it is our need that we do something and whenever we do anything because we need we are at our best 
those of you who have gone to different countries and then you are going through the immigration, that time every person is at his best. He will go before the immigration officer, Dumbo, and he says, hello, how are you? Oh, yeah. Why? Because you are need to get into that damn country. See, once I was in uh, going where? Um, New Zealand. And uh, there was a lot of rush and all that. So when I went there, there was one lady officer. Must be of Indian origin or from Fiji, like that, you know. So she had some name over there. I called her by her name. I said, hey, how are you? You have got a very lovely name. He said, what is the meaning? She didn't know, so I could bluff. So I said, this means the best one. See? She told her friend, see, this is the meaning of my name. Always you ask, now this man knows the best one. Dang, go inside. <laughs> <laughs> see, friend, because it is my need, I have to be the best, is it not? In the same manner, whatever we do in this world, friends, it is our need. The world doesn't need us. You will never be frustrated in life. Such a person, Prasanna Chetas, he can think of God. Now the second step. A person who is doing his duties perfectly well, etc., he develops his eye very strong. All Karmakandis are very, very angry brand people. So to get out of it, the second position the Bhagavad Gita gives us, we have to be disciplined in life. We only complain about the mind. Complaining about mind is not spiritual practice. So many people come and ask the same useless question. My mind is very disturbed. So what should I do? It is your mind. You take care. I am not here with a child. But why the mind is this? You should know. How could I know? Don't complain about mind. Two things are required. One is disciplining the mind. See? Are we carried away by the mind or the mind behave the way we want? See? We have trained our mind to be non-cooperative. See? You know, this uh, uh, Windows platform, it was discovered on the basis of mind. Like you know, you open on your laptop four, five, six windows. In one window something going, second window something going. More the number of windows, lesser in the speed of all your calculations. In our life, it is not windows, it is doors are open. See, in one door, mother-in-law, in the other door, daughter-in-law, in the third door, the husband, the fourth door, the government. And in this manner, the whole life is so dull. <coughs> See? Just try one simple thing. Whatever you do, get yourself involved 100%. When you eat, eat. But for us, eating means, you know, the TV is going on and then you take, oh, no, 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 no. So, it's okay. and book will again, then you take, you know, then instead of taking the sabji, you take the whole lump of salt. <laughs> <laughs> See, friends, this simple thing, whatever you do, do it 100% involvement. See? Now, I have been talking for Last 39 minutes. Don't answer this question. Keep it in your mind. Bandi Mutti Samala. How many minutes you have been listening to me? Huh? Even this is also not heard. The mind has already gone. Because this is how we have trained our mind. See, friends. Therefore, first discipline the mind, number one. Strict discipline. And second is educate the mind. Disciplined, educated mind alone is a controlled mind. 
Rather than complaining, there are too many thoughts when you are in your meditation, what should I do? When these two things are done in life, you are perfect in your interaction with the world and you are self-disciplined. These two things together makes a very perfect ego. I am not like others, waking up 10 o'clock. I wake up at quarter to 10. <laughs> 15 minutes superior than others. See? I am not like others. I am better. See? This I has to be dissolved. See, friend. So, first six chapters talk about redefining the I and disciplining the I. You may redefine. You may discipline the I, yet he has not dissolved the I. I is still there. See? Therefore, what is required is that now we have to work on this I. So what is the vision now? The vision is freedom from I is the real freedom. Don't worry about this world. The world has always been like this. Nothing new in this world. Don't bother much. See, mother-in-law, father-in-law, daughter-in-law, daughter, children, husband, wife. There is nothing new in this world. Most of the parents are frustrated because of their children. There cannot be any foolishness than this. See, when Dasharatha has to die because of his son, who was God incarnation, so because of the children, even the uh, parents of Rama, Krishna have suffered. Our children are kabutas. <laughs> what do we expect out of them? They don't carry the load unnecessarily. See friends, live your life carefully and happily. Let them suffer silently. Don't get involved. See friends. But we are both hanging on to them and imagine. Oh, Swamiji, if we don't samskar, denge to, they will do your samskar when you are alive. <laughs> then you understand. <laughs> hey friends, plan your life, get out of this I, I, I. See friends, now when this I is to be removed, this is the vision now. For this, from the seventh chapter onwards, Bhagavan Sri Krishna begins a new theme. The new theme is the theme of devotion. So in the first six chapters, what Bhagavan did? Redefining and disciplining I. Now this redefined and disciplined I is available now to work upon. See, in one house I went, and the parents were telling, Meta, uh, Swamiji ko namaskar karo. And he became Vivekananda, Muni Guru. And the parents said, Do namaskar, do namaskar. And he did this. So I told, Are Baba, jaldi karna, I am holding my feet in my hand. <laughs> See? The parents are standing like electric posts. And they want the children to do that. See, friends, don't bother beyond a particular limit. Live your life to discover the truth. That is the only purpose of our arrival in this world. See, our parents, our grandparents, our great grandparents, they are gone. What difference it made to us or to them? Uddhare Atman Atmanam Natmanam Avasadaye Atmaiva Atmano Bandhu Atmaiva Ripur Atmana We are in this world to discover the truth. There is no other reason. There is no other purpose of our life. See friends. And therefore, when this I is redefined and disciplined, now this defined, disciplined I is available for action. Like the child's example I gave, the child was not disciplined, the child was not redefined. Now that 
indisciplined child, how can you tell anything to that child? He will not listen. So we have not done the earlier two uh, disciplines. And without that, suddenly we want to go and sit for meditation. <laughs> so Rupya. Nothing will happen. See friends, the highest illusion in this world is the illusion of meditation. What is the meditation for majority of the people? Sitting in a dark um, hall, together hundreds of them silently suffering. <laughs> and then the question people ask, Swamiji, in your meditation class there is no switch off light, everything is light is on and all that. But why they tell the switch off the lights? I said, you go and ask them, I don't know. But what could be the reason? I said, I can only imagine. My imagination is both the student and the teacher, they can go to sleep. <laughs> and after the time is over, then all of them are awakened from sleep. These are all the cartoons of meditation. How long will you sit for meditation? Half an hour, twenty minutes, one hour, four hours? What next? We have to live in 24-7 meditation. That is real meditation. Meditation is not an action. It is an experience, unbroken. See, friends. And this can happen only if our vision is corrected. Therefore, from the seventh chapter onwards, now Bhagavad Sri Krishna takes up a technique by which the I is being dissolved. And whenever anything is done with knowledge, it stands the test of time. When something happens by fluke, it doesn't last long. See, one day in Hyderabad, I went with some kids for a, you know, mela, and I was moving with them. Then they say, Swamiji, uh, you should also tell us what we should do. I said, you decide, I am just following you. So there was one, you know, this uh, balloon and that uh, gun. So let us hit that. I said, okay, come. So that balloon man told me, um, you hit. I said, I don't know even how to hold it. I know I can hit you like that. He said, no, not like that. You have to pull the trigger. Then he told me. See, there is in the front is one uh, small, you uh, know, protuberance and at the end is the you, you have to fix your vision through that, hold your breath and hit, it will hit. So I did first yellow, uh, that um, balloon burst, oh you know it. So I got second free, I did that also. Third, fourth, it started happening. Then he said, oh, oh you are cheating that you don't know, you know very well. Now I give you a challenge. And he put something stone like that and thread was moving. He said, if you can hit the thread, I said, what will you give me? 500 rupees. I said, keep it here. <laughs> and he forgot to tell me I should also keep. <laughs> the beauty of life. So he gave 500 rupees. And then, I said, ha, see our, our, and all the kids who were with me, Swamiji, Swamiji, I said, don't disturb. See, see our Ram Chandra ki jai kai do. And they all said, see our Ram Chandra ki jai. And I said, kare ala ki jai. And it really, the thread broke. So immediately the fire door was. Then the kids said, Swamiji, do once more. I said, no. Because <laughs> I also don't know how it happened. Anything which happens without knowledge does not stand the test of time. In the same manner, sometimes your mind is very much at peace. Sometimes you go to a temple and you feel very good, you know. Ah, so nice, yeah. Next time you want to go to the same place and you are most miserable. It was so good, you know. I don't know why this thing happened. I think I must have seen somebody's face in the morning. <laughs> then the wife will tell you, how many times I told you, don't shave early in the morning. <laughs> because you have seen your own face, then your whole day is bad. <laughs> Friends, this is not spiritual life. 
it must have stability under all conditions. Yoga rato va, bhoga rato va, sangha rato va, sangha vihina, yasya brahmani ramati chittam is revealing in the divine. Therefore, nandati, 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 even that is what is called as a real spiritual life, living in meditation. And this can happen only when Mishra I disappears. So, devotion begins by giving us the right knowledge. Jnana Vijnana Yoga, seventh chapter. So first, the teacher tells us, listen, our personality has got four aspects. One is apara prakriti, bhumi rapo nalo vayu khammano buddhire vacha ahankara iti yamme bhinna prakriti rashtada. And that prakriti is mine, not yours. This whole creation, the world, all the five great elements and mana buddhi ahankar, they belong to him. Bhinna me prakriti rashtada. If this belongs to God, and if the God is our dad, what will be our relation with the Prakriti? Bhoga or the Yoga or the Seva? Change the vision. Everything will change. See friends. Then second thing that he just says, Para Prakriti Jiva Bhuta. When the same Paramatma is expressing through his Prakriti, he is called as the Jiva. Like the man expressing through the wife, he is called as husband. <coughs> See, earlier he was a man, happy. <laughs> See? Then he has caught hold of samsari. Therefore he became a samsari. And when he caught hold of samsari, thereafter man reduced to husband, the one whose hussy is bunt forever. <laughs> These are all technical terms. <laughs> See, friends. So, as the husband is a common noun, it is not a proper noun. See? So, this husband is a common noun. Similarly, jiva is a common factor. Paramatma expressing through the body as life. In Sanskrit, it is called as jivana. Jivana means not jiva, life. There is no one soul per head. See, friends. But we are all the time holding on to after death, where will I go? One old man asked me in school, How many, what happens after death? Then I looked at him and I asked him, Who are you, Hindu, Muslim? Of course I am Hindu. I said, We'll burn you. <laughs> <laughs> what else can you tell? No, not that way. I said, Okay, there will be one day holiday due to school, but don't die on Sunday. <laughs> die on Monday, Tuesday, so it's better. No, no, no. What happened to the soul after death? See? So we have this wrong notion in our head, wrongly fitted, that we are a soul per head. No, Baba, no. See? This is the reason. And after that, the teacher says, that is Purusha and Prakriti, they are governed by the Ishvara. And all of them, Jiva Jagat Ishvara, all of them are merely appearances in me, conditioned appearances. Like man is appearing as son, the man is appearing as husband, the man is appearing as father because of the three conditionings. So one man has become three. In the same manner, one Paramatma with the conditioning of names and the forms has become the world, with the conditioning of the Panchakoshas has become the Jiva, with the conditioning of the Maya has become Ishvara. But when these conditionings are discarded, when my father died, I am no more a son. When my wife died by God's grace, I am no more a son. There was a dacoit 
he came in a bank and he looted all the money and the gun a pistol in his hand and he asked the nearby standing man did you see me robbing the bank he said yes he was killed on the spot then he turned there was a couple he asked the couple did you see me robbing the bank husband said i have not seen but my wife has seen <laughs> <laughs> Moral of the story: <laughs> Never miss an opportunity. <laughs> yes. At this time, you have discarded all your conditionings. You are neither husband, wife, brother, sister, mother, father, in-law, out-law. You are only happy, is it not? when you are happy you are god when you are miserable you are dog bom 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 see friends this is all spirituality but for a spirituality is more torture than joy see so मत परतर नान्यंचिदस्ति धनंजय मयि सर्वमिदं प्रोतम सूत्रे मणिगणाय भगवान से हे धनंजय मत परतरम देयर इज नो कॉज ऑफ मी मत किंचित देयर इज नो इफेक्ट फ्रॉम मी अन्य देयर इज नन लाइक मी बिकॉज आई एम वन विदाउट ए सेकंड इन दिस वन एब्सोल्यूट रियलिटी दिस होल वर्ल्ड इज अपीयरिंग लाइक अ गार्लेट garland is an appearance if the thread is broken or the flower should be separated nothing will be lost if you take the weight of the garland after you cut the thread separate the thread and the flower again we will there be any loss this is just an appearance it is not the reality in the same manner this truth is one without a second this is the ultimate truth and those who have this vision develop bhagwan says chaturvida bhajante ma jana sukhrutino arjuna arto jigyasu arthati jnani cha varadarshav the those who have this vision sukruti na they are sukruti me those who have lived their life in such a manner that they have purified their instrument of perception understanding and then they come to know that vasudev sarvamiti parmatma alone is this is the ultimate vision and when this topic was going on in the seventh chapter in the eighth chapter arjuna asked seven questions which are replied in relation to the relative world that if you die in this time you go to heaven you go to hell etc but the purpose is not that please understand the purpose of last life this life next life going to hell or heaven is not to send us to hell and heaven but to bring to our cognition we are a continuous unbroken existence come to know that in the second chapter bhagwan said देहिनोस्मिन यथा देहे कौमारम यौवनम जरा तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति ही धीरस्तत्र न मुयति लाइक वी हैव चेंज सो मेनी बॉडीज द चाइल्डहुड बॉडी मिडिल एज बॉडी एटसेट्रा इन द सेम मैनर दिस बॉडी विल बी ड्रॉप अनदर बॉडी विल कम हु केयर्स हैव वी नॉट चेंज आवर क्लोथ सो मेनी टाइम्स सी फ्रेंड्स दिस कंटीन्यूअस अनब्रोकन एग्जिस्टेंस इज आवर एसेंशियल नेचर चेंज दिस विजन you you will forget about death we never suffer because of death we suffer because of the fear of death one old man in bombay as indri asked me this question so we you should not go too long outside bombay you should be there at least once in a month and all that i said okay next i have got question i said i knew that introduction was for that only 
क्वेश्चन इज सावजी लास्ट टू डेज आई एम हैविंग अ फियर अबाउट डेथ अराउंड दैट एज ए पपा डोंट वरी आई प्रॉमिस यू यू विल डाई यू आर हैविंग फियर अबाउट डेथ आई गारंटी यू विल डेफिनेटली डाई दे नॉट ओनली दैट माय फियर इज व्हाट विल हैपन टू माय वाइफ चिल्ड्रन बिजनेस प्रॉपर्टी एटसेट्रा व्हाट विल हैपन आई से डोंट आस्क मी आस्क देम देन दे विल रिप्लाई पपा गो ऑन वी आर वेटिंग we only think we are the indispensable in this world come to cognize this truth you will never never be miserable in life only change this vision that's all after this was done in the 8th chapter in the 9th chapter bhagwan gave the ultimate vision maya tatamidam sarvam jagat vyakta murti na masthani sarva bhutani na cha ham tesh vavasthita na cha masthani bhutani pashyame yoga maishwaram bhuta brinda cha bhuta staha mama atma bhuta bhavana bhagwan says me the formless support all the forms therefore all the forms are in me but i am not in them but to be very frank with you neither they are in me nor i am in them i alone am as we don't understand this arjuna also did understand but as we keep quiet arjuna also kept quiet too <laughs> then in the 10th chapter bhagwan sri krishna gave him 72 addresses where he can go like all of you must be having half a dozen email addresses isn't it because it is free Had there been charge on every email address, everybody would have only one address. I know in my, you know, this address book, same person is having ten, twenty addresses. When you say all of them, sixty percent come back, not found, not found. See. Therefore, when we are thus wanting to know the truth, the teacher gives in the ten chapter seventy-four addresses. See the truth there. and few examples among the rivers i am the ganges among the mountains i am the himalayas so when we are moving in this world you can start this practice of seeing the divine presence everywhere this is the practice it is something like this when we have to learn driving a car do we learn driving a car on the highway where there is lot of traffic no we go to a football ground and they start learning a car and there also we will find out a tree and make an accident <laughs> in the same manner before you sit for meditation first train your vision see divine presence in everything and be See. when you the strain yourself that means you have now learned how to drive a car on a open football ground without that you cannot enter the heavy traffic of bengaluru you cannot enter in the same manner without interacting with the world with this attitude If you simply come and sit for meditation, your meditation will be uska badla lena. Dikte, let me meditation ni over. I'll teach you. Is it meditation? See, friends. Therefore, never do meditation in life. Let meditation happen. And meditation can happen only if our day-to-day -day interaction with the world is so unique. द्वेषोस्ती न प्रिय ना काहू से दोस्ती ना काहू से बैर विथ दिस एटीट्यूड वेन वी आर इंटरेक्टिंग विद वर्ल्ड देन वी विल बी एबल टू एंड क्वालिफाइड टू कम एंड सीट ऑन द सीट ऑफ मेडिटेशन देन विजन हैज चेंज living in meditation means living with a change vision our present vision is i versus you 
Our present vision is I versus God. Our present vision is the world needs to be improved. The one who created this world, he doesn't know how to maintain his own creation. We are the one to improve this world. See friends, when these things start happening, you know, this experience is like what? An example. A boy and a girl go to a garden because both of them are useless, good for nothing, unemployed, unemployable. When they go to the garden, what they will do? They will fall in love. When you, can, you have nothing to do, you fall in love. So, when you, get, when you fall, you get hurt. That's why all the love marriages are hurting institutions. So, there he has done love. There love was a verb. I love him. I love her. I love you. So love has become a verb, an action. This is one love we know, second love. When the first time mothers, mothers, when they are carrying and the baby is to be born, the mother-in-law and her own mother goes on giving them 101 instructions. Then the baby is born. Another 101 instructions. What to eat, what not to eat, and everything. But has any new mother been ever given this instruction by any mother or mother-in-law that you love your child? Is never given. Because the love between the mother and the child is not an action, it is an experience. See friends, meditation is not an action. It is an experience. And therefore the love between the mother and the daughter or mother and the son never dries away. They will fight, they will shout, they will do everything. Yet, there will be a natural affinity towards each other. Because this love is never done. See friends, there was one girl in Bombay um, must be about 20 years before or so. So, there was a fight between the daughter and the mother. <coughs> so, I was having my cup of tea. I said, you finish your fighting, give me coffee, tea, and then I don't mind. It's a good entertainment. <laughs> Free cartoon show. So, the mother told the daughter, when you will become mother, then you will understand what I mean. And K -K -K. Afterwards, marriage, the child was born. And then this doctor came, uh, Mama, Mama, see, she doesn't listen to me. Do you remember what I told you that time? See? So that was not the instruction given by the mother. It was a curse. Tu me ko parishan karti na? Tere bete, tere ko parishan karti na? See, friends. Therefore, let us change this vision that let the divine express through us. And for that be attentive. For that, discover divinity. Then only it can express. See, if I got peanuts in my pocket, I can't distribute chocolates. First, I have to have them in my pocket. Then only I can give to others. And when this vision happens, what is that vision? Is the 11th chapter of Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> and therefore, the 11th chapter of Bhagavad Gita is the ultimate vision every seeker must have. And therefore, when Arjuna in the 10th chapter heard, so many addresses among the trees, I am the Ashwatha, among the Pandavas, I am the um, Dharanjaya, among the Mantra, I, uh, among the Yajna, I am the Mantra. So many things he heard. Then 
this created a kind of jignasa a kind of uh, intense longing for arjuna to have that experience ram krishna paramahams told his disciple on his inquiry vivekananda asked how come mother speaks to you she doesn't talk to me so the teacher said you actually don't want her to talk to you if you really want she will talk no i really want no it cannot be how much really he said we'll see it later let's go it's a math time they went to the ganges there the teacher dipped the disciples heads below the waters how long 10 20 30 40 seconds then finally he you know with all strain pushed that guru's hand and came out and first thing only breathing <sighs> that time the guru says as you were intensely longing to breathe that intense longing to have his vision he will reveal उपनिषद से यमई वेश वृणुते तेन लभ्यः तस्यैश आत्मा विवृणुते तरुम स्वाम ही हु सीक्स नथिंग बट द ट्रुथ टू द एक्सक्लूजन ऑफ एवरीथिंग टू हिम अलोन द ट्रुथ इज रिवील्ड टू क्रिएट दिस इंटेंस लॉन्गिंग इन द हार्ट ऑफ अर्जुन भगवान श्री कृष्ण हैज गिवन 74 एड्रेसेस इन द 10th चैप्टर and when he heard oh god everywhere the truth is can i have the same experience sir? and therefore madanugrahay paramam vayyam atmyatma sannitam yastva yoktam vachastena mohoyam bigato mama this is another beautiful part i am no more deluded is the highest delusion after again in the same chapter he will say i am confused what you are showing oh lord i am frightened just now you said now you don't have delusion how you are frightened moho yam bigato mama and i have heard from you oh lord bhava pyavahi bhutanam shruto vistaro shobaya how the world is created etc in detail i have heard from you and i understand what you are you said must be true एवं एवेतम आत्मा परमेशर द्रष्टुम्छा ते रूप ऐश्वर पुरुषोत्तम यू आर द डिवाइन ऑल इंक्लूसिव फॉर्म आई विश टू हेव द विजन ऑफ दैट मन से यदि तक्य मैं द्रष्टुम प्रभोसी द ग्रेटनेस इफ यू थिंक आई एम क्वालिफाइड देन यू रिवील टू बी डोंट गिव मी ए रिजर्वेशन कोटा This is how most of the grasdas go for reservation quota. One lady was so angry with me. Swami ji, what is there for you all the time? Be happy, be happy. Get married and show. Be happy. That means you are qualified to be miserable. Marriage is not a qualification. That you should get reservation for realization. Grasdas ninety five percent. Then Baba ji, they should get only one percent. No. He says, "If you think I am qualified, if you think I can, then kindly reveal me your great form. Manne se yadi tar chakyam maya drastu bhiti prabho yogeshwara dato me tum darshayatma namar vayam. A yogeshwara, and you are capable of revealing it to me. So please reveal it to me. And when this was said." भगवान श्री कृष्ण वॉज मोर ईगर दैन अर्जुन सी फ्रेंड्स श्री भगवान वाच पश्य में पात्र रूपाणी शतशोध सहस्रश नानाविधा दिव्या नाना वर्णाकृति पश्यादीत्यान सुनुद्रा अश्विनो मरुतस्तथा बहुन्य दृष्टपूर्वाणी पश्याश्चर्या भारत यही कस्तम जगत्कृष्ण पश्याद सचराचर मम देह गुणाकेश यच्चान्य द्रष्टुम्छसे भगवान स्टार्ट एड कमा सी दीज दीज दी दीज and arjuna was not able to see anything 
वॉट भगवान सेड पश्य आदित्यान वसून रुद्रान अश्विन मरुतस्तथा एल जस्ट गिव सम टेक्निकल डाटा हियर वी ऑल हैव दिस नोशन दैट देर आर थर्टी थ्री क्रोर्स ऑफ गॉड्स दैट थर्टी थ्री क्रोर्स इज अ रॉन्ग ट्रांसलेशन कोटि तेतीस कोटि कोटि मीन्स क्लासेस like this amas who are chanting bhajans here so nicely so what we say they were kuch koti ke gayak koti means a class so there are 33 classes because of which this world is maintained so all those 33 aspects in creation आर कंटेंड इन मी सी विच आर दो थर्टी थ्री फर्स्ट आदित्य देर आर ट्वेल्व आदित्य देर फोर वेन यू डू सूर्य नमस्कार देर आर ट्वेल्व सूर्य नमस्कार ओम आदित्य आय नहा भास्कर आय नहा मित्र आय वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव देन पश्य आदित्यान वसून अष्ट वसू वन ऑफ द वसू वॉज बॉर्न एज भीष्माचार्य because he has done some mischief there and therefore he was cursed and he was born as bhishma acharya so 12 plus 8 20 they there were rudra there are ekadash rudras 11 rudras so how many 31 and ashvinau two ashvin kumar 33 these are the 33 aspects which are maintaining this universe perfectly in balance all those 33 aspects are in me see them it is something like electricity tells see the light in me because i alone express as light through bulbs see the magnetic field in me because i alone express as a magnetic field when i go around the iron box or iron rod see the cool nays of the fridge in me see the heat in me so these are the various aspects of the same original energy in the same manner all the 33 aspects which are maintaining this creation they are called the atis koti devata devata is nothing but the potentiality which is manifest as well as unmanifest <coughs> like the sun is presiding over my eyes because of that there is vision so when the eyes become blind means what happens the vision is not there structure is there but the structure is not capable enough to manifest the mind as vision through the eyes therefore this 33 devatas are the 33 principal marutas tatha and also 49 marutas they don't fall in the category of gods they fall in the category of semi gods so there are like mukhya pancha pranas prana vyana par udana samana then there are five up pranas and there are many pranas these are marut ganas in this manner see and when arjuna was shown everything yahi kastam jagat krishnam pashchat jasa jaragaram yah ekastam in me everything is contained see right now right here mama dehe guda kesha in me he guda kesha he arjuna yacha anya drashtu michasi and whatever else you want to see everything is in me see this and then bhagwan realized his mistake his mistake was ओ गॉड आई फॉर गॉड न तो मां शक्य से दृष्टु अने नैव स्वचक्षुषा दिव्यम ददा मिते चक्षु पश्य मे योग महेश्वर यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू सी दिस बाय युअर लेदर आईज चर्म चक्षु सी बाय द लेदर आईज वी कैन सी ओनली द लेदर यू नो देर इज अ स्टोरी अबाउट मी अष्टावक्र महाराज when he entered the assembly of wise people 
in the palace of Janaka. He was hardly a boy of 12, 13. Atta okre, eight places crooked, like a helical model. And when he was walking, you know, lock, uh, like a, you know, uh, doll. So everybody laughed at him. So he also laughed loudly. So Janaka asked, I know why they laugh because of your funny behavior and walking. Therefore they laugh, I could understand. But why did you laugh? He said, I laugh because I thought I have come in the assembly of the wise people, but here all are cobblers. They are looking only at the skin. They are not looking who is expressing through the skin. Divyam dadami de chaksha. This Divya Drishti is the one, when it is opened, such a master lives 24-7 in meditation. See friends, meditation cannot be the goal of life. We have this funny notion, one young boy asked me this question, Swamiji, when will I be able to sit like Vivekananda in meditation? I said, when we make a statue of you, you'll see. <laughs> Have you seen Vivekananda? No. What you have seen? Statue or photograph. He was not sitting 24 like this in another report. Don't disturb. Meditation in progress, take a detour. That which is disturbing is not meditation. It is a cartoon of meditation. See, friends. <coughs> Therefore, this divine vision is the ultimate vision. It is for this purpose that Bhagavad Gita is studied. If we are unable to change our vision, we will continue to suffer spiritually. And my observation is, those who are walking on a spiritual path, they are more miserable than those who are liquid spiritualists. Chodo yaar. So discover this right vision and be happy. Now what is this vision? what happened, etc. That will be taken in tomorrow's episode. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnaha Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Shishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om